Oh no, seriously. That was the most pretentious thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Do you just forget? You just run out of ideas and think to yourself, if I just stop every three seconds, the audience will think something profound has happened. <laughs> no, I think anyone out here can make five minutes of choreography if they just decided they were okay or not connect. really hard. No one can say that you aren't, but look at yourself. You're big and you're clumsy and you make mistakes constantly. Maybe it's time to fix the facts. I mean, I'm glad you know where you want to go, but you're not going to get there on your own. Now, you don't have to give up on performance entirely. You could perhaps go into training or coaching. Maybe teach choreography rather than performance. <laughs> I mean, everybody needs to support that. You know that better than anyone. Look, you're not getting any younger. You're not getting any cleaner. And there are a hundred new spinners coming up who have got you to make creatively, physically, and energetically. <laughs> Why do you torture yourself like this? Why not take the easy road? Let someone else take those risks and blaze that trail. I mean, it's not as if you have anything to prove to anyone right now. What the fuck is this shit? Can't <laughs> <laughs> make one simple pass, one simple pass. But not stop. <laughs> there are a hundred people out here who've got you beat in every single way. Are you even listening to me? Mm -hmm. You're lazy, you're boring, you don't practice enough, you're a sellout, you cop out, you're uncreative and unoriginal.
waste. That was awful. Give, Give it up. <coughs> Why waste my time? Why even bother? Why try it all? I suck. Get out of here. Get a light. Get out of my sight. Get your shit together. Yeah. You don't deserve it here. You don't deserve to be here in front Stop of these it. people. You don't deserve this. You don't deserve any of their Stop attention it. or respect. You have not Stop earned it! it! status of the evening, Benjamin Reynolds. <laughs> and this is August 2014 performance class. <laughs> so, uh, I, would, I would ask for your forgiveness for the non-standard opening, but I'm really proud of it. So, uh, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> and, of course, uh, the theme for this class is the conflicted soul. And we couldn't really think of a better, more jarring, and full of feels, uncomfortable way to begin everything. <laughs> Hard start. Well done. Thank you. Thank him. Don't thank me. I've done nothing. Um, so, for those of you who don't understand how most, or don't understand, how dare you not understand, for those of you who have not been here before and don't know how a wildfire performance class works, this is not just an occasion to have a low spinning arts showcase. This is not just an occasion to see members of the community demonstrate their talents in front of you. This is also an opportunity for you to hopefully have a chance to learn something from them. So uh, Drex is a very good sport and is allowing me to put him on the spot and just stand there looking pretty while I explain this before I give the mic back to him and let him share some pearls of wisdom, something that he's learned in his adventures as a performing artist either in preparing for this specific event or something that he wishes that someone had been able to tell him when he was developing his craft. So, back to Drex. Oh dear. <laughs> How are you guys doing tonight? Woo! Woo! So it should be said, I did not know that we were cold opening with this until I got here, and my first thought was, oh god, really? <laughs> But I think it worked well. Thank you guys for giving me that chance. Um, the, the God's Honest Truth is like, this was a really, really hard piece to write, uh, but it is probably my favorite thing that I have ever written, and I have absolutely no idea where to begin talking about the process on this. So if anybody out there has like a question that could get me like started on this, raise your hand real quick, and I'll just use that as a seed. You're right. Am I right? You're right. You're right. Ah, yes. Okay, the question is why this theme? Um, so, uh, uh, show of hands, who out there knows of a spinner by the name of Nikki Evers? Woo! Yeah, good guy. Um, he did a show at, or he did a piece at Flow Show, uh, San Francisco, a couple years ago 
that was kind of like his internal narration set to music, and it's one of my favorite things that I've seen put on the stage in the past couple of years, but I had this overwhelming feeling in watching it that my process is not nearly as neat as his is. Um, and I was kind of looking for an opportunity to showcase what my process would be because I feel like more people wrestle with the really, really unpleasant parts of insecurities rather than having that always necessarily be a happy story. Um, so, yeah, uh, and I, I've been hearing stories for a while of uh, pieces set to no music that were coming out of European kind of juggling community, and the two kind of came together in my head, and it was like, okay, why would you do a silent piece? Um, what kind of statement are you making there? And I thought, well, Silence makes people really uncomfortable, so what else makes people uncomfortable? How about their insecurities? Oh, snap! <laughs> and, uh, and, and that's how that came to be, and thank God Ben has been such a, 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 a wonderful partner, and uh, uh, for those who don't know, I dropped this script on him two days before Wombat, and he got off book really quickly no. and <laughs> delivered a fucking fantastic performance. This would fall apart if it were <laughs> Thank you. Can we have one more round of applause for Drex? <laughs> you are also a very well-behaved audience. You wanted to applaud in all the right places. So, and okay, this, we're going to stop now. I appreciate